We begin the Quran Daf Masechtas Gittin Daf Ein Vav. We begin three lines down at the top of the Amid, where the Gemara continues in a case that's similar to the case of the Mishnah, and it will also relate back to the Halacha of the Mishnah, which is we continue with the theme of the Mishnahis of conditions of Tanoim, specifically in these cases regarding when the husband says, "This is your get on the condition that you're going to serve my father, nurse my baby." Ashes Kosban Zvakazik and Cheska turned from Daf Achayim. Appreciate everyone for joining us today's Daf. Some of the discussion in today's Daf are actually we get very technical. Um, and starting in the next Mishnah, um, regarding, let's say he says, this is your get, if I don't come back within 30 days, and it's, we have to understand what he was doing, he was on his way going from Judea to the Galilee. So the Mishnah says, if, he's, if I get to the Galilee right away, and this is, the Gemara is going to explain this, and it's not an, an implicit in the words of the Mishnah, that if I get to the Galilee right away, it's going to be a get. If I delay on the road 30 days and I don't come back, it will also be a get. So that's what the Gemara is going to have. We'll see in the Gemara. It's going to be explaining what does he mean to say, I'm not coming back within 30 days. The Gemara also discusses regarding, says, if I'm not back within 12 months and he dies within 12 months, what the Allah is going to be in that case? Well, he didn't come back. And would that also be considered as a condition uh, that was not fulfilled? So we begin three lines down at the top of the Amid with the Gemara says, Turn about the Braisa. Harizi Gitech. This is your get. On the condition that you serve. My father for two years. This is what we had in the Mishnah, and you nurse my son for two years. Says the Brisa, this guy even though the condition was not fulfilled. How did they get? It's going to be a get. Why is that? Ah, says the Gemara. This is really what you were asking before. That every time we said it, how come we don't say it? So the Gemara is saying it over here. The Gemara says because the Omalo, he didn't tell her. Im tishamshi, im tishamshi. He didn't say, if you serve and if you don't serve. Im taniki, if you nurse, it will be a get. Vim loy taniki, if you don't nurse, it will not be a get because you need to have a tonight kafel, like tonight b'nei gav, b'nei rubin, that's the remate. Chamayim, they say, no, in this guy, matanai, if the condition is fulfilled, there is a get, it's going to be a get. Vim lav, and if not, ain't a get, it's not going to be a get because they hold, you don't have to have a tonight kafel. He says, He says, you don't have any tznai written in the writings in the Torah that's not doubled, which the, the Gemara is going to continue to explain. Ikidami, there are those that say, he was actually responding to a mayor. Some say, he was responding to the Rabban. So the Gemara explains, what does that mean? Ikidami, there are those that say, he was talking to a mayor, and this is what he was telling to a mayor. He says, we're not supposed to learn from B'nai God, B'nai Ruvain, that it has to be a double tonight the way you're learning. Because in the tonight, there is no condition written in the Torah that's not doubled. For example, in Bereshit Chavdal, Oz Tenokemei Then you'll be exempt from my, from, my, from my vow. He says both ways. Or for example, in Bamid Hey, when it talks about the Saita, Im Shachav, if you slept with another man, Im Loishachav, if you didn't sleep with another man. Or like you have in Yeshaya, Im Taibu Shmatim, Im Tamanu Marisim. It always says double. So therefore what? We have many psukim saying the same idea of doubling. And we know the halacha, anytime you have two psukim saying the same thing, ain't malamdin, you can't learn from there. So that itself is telling us that you're not going to require a tzanai kafal. That's interpretation number one, what Rabbi Shimli is coming to say. Those that say, no, Rabbanu Kamal, he's actually talking to Rabbanu. This is what he was telling them. You don't have any condition in the writings that are not doubled, and therefore become a And therefore, actually, we should learn from them because, as Rashi explains, what do you mean? Didn't you just tell me that in the first shot, that when it says many times, you can't learn that from that? So, no, Rashi says they're all needed. As the Gemara answers in Kedushan of Sanachav and Beis, that when it's needed, then it's not a contradiction to learning out from it because we had to say this, we had to say it, we had to say it. So, all of them had to say it. So, there was no problem of boin ke'echad. And therefore, you could learn that from there, and therefore he was saying to Rabbanan, no, you should agree to a mayor and say that you need to have tonight kafal. Now, but I mean, the Gemara asks a contradiction of Bryce's, because the Bryce says, Hariz Let's say the husband says, this is your get a manasha to sham sheh sabah shteh condition you serve my father for two years. Or a manasha to niggis banish shteh shama, condition that you nurse my son for two years. Says the Bryce, mesa ava, mesa ben, if the father dies or the son dies, ain't a get, it's not going to be a get to be a mayor. So this is exactly the opposite of what he said in the first Bryce. And Muhammad, they say also the opposite. Av Bishlain is Kamba tonight, even though the condition is not fulfilled, that is again, it is going to be a get. Yechoyli Shatamala, she could tell him, Tell me a shena, give me your father, I'll serve him. Tell me bin Khan again, give me your son, I'll nurse him. Says the Gemara, Kash de Ramea de Ramea. 
Hashem and Rabbanan. They're both contradicting each other from the first brisa. In the first brisa, Rameir said that it's not a tzai. So therefore, it will be a get. Here he's saying it's not a get. And the Chachamim in the first brisa said, yeah, it, it is a tzai. So it's not going to be a get. And here they say, even though we know the filled tzai, it will be a get. So the Gemara says, the Rameir didn't really cash it. Rameir is not a contradiction. Why? Hasma with the embrace number one, what to be like kafala tanoi. When he didn't double his condition, as we explained before. So it's not going to be a tanai. So therefore, it's going to be a get. Hacha but the kafala tanoi. He would talk about where he doubled this tanai. Or he doubled this tanai. So then it's not going to be a get if you don't fulfill the tanai. I mean, the Rabban, Rabban, like Kash, not difficult under Rabban. Because man chacham da hacha. Who is the chachamim of the second brisa that says it will be a get? of the Mishnah. He said, any time that you're holding back something that's not from her, her is a get, it's going to be a get. So here, since it's not her problem because the husband, the, the father died or the child is not around anymore to nurse, so therefore it will be a get. So it's not a contradiction, different, different person when you say the chacham. Related discussion, the Gemara brings turn around in the Brisa. I'm a little bit of nation nine. Let's say, uh, the husband says to her in front of two people, This is your get. And the condition that you served my father for two years. Now, Rashi explains very importantly, he didn't give it over to her in front of them. Because if he would have given over to them at her at that time, she would have been divorced with that condition. And then he can't go ahead and make another condition. Rather, he just said to her in front of them, When I'm going to give it to you, I'm only giving it over to you with that condition that you'll serve my father for two years. Then, but then he said, open to him in front of two people, this you get a manasha, and you give me 200 zuz, and then he gave her the get. So, what's the halacha? So, says the b'raisa, the later words don't nullify the first words, meaning that he was not coming to add on from the fact that he didn't tell her that you should give me 200 zuz in addition to the first condition. Moreover, he wasn't coming to uproot the first one either from the fact that he wasn't mavatl his words in front of those people. He didn't say, oh, I don't want the first condition. So what was he telling her? So he was telling her, adadus, adadus. either the first condition that you serve my father or 200 zuz. Ratza saw misham shasai. If she wants to, she could serve the father. Ratza, in the sense of zuz. If she wants to, she could give him 200 zuz. But in a different case, let's say he said to him, of two people, you give me 200 zuz. But then he said to him, of two people, you give me 300 zuz. It's like Rashi says, most definitely here, he's uprooting his first condition. Not saying, oh, other 200 or 300. That wouldn't make sense. So, the later words are nullifying the first words. But you cannot have one of the, wit- the first witnesses with one of the second witnesses to combine to testify that there is a condition in this get because um, as long as you don't have the two coming as one and you can't say that, oh, we know there's a tanai because this get is kosher through the witnesses that are signed in it. And you can't have any one of these to tell me that there is a tenai in the get because those are different tenayim because the last tenai was Iker, the first one. Because actually that's what the Gemara asks. Ahai. Wait a second. Which case is this going on? Ile must say if everything is going to save every bottle. So like Rashi says, obviously, that you can't have one of the first witnesses of the stipulation to testify because even if both of them would come, it wouldn't be anything because it was mevatl that tenai. The second time he made the tonight in front of this, the second pair of witnesses. So El Rather says the Gemara is going Aresha. When he says, Oi hi, oi hi, all the dos, all the yens, he said, You could do either one. So the Gemara says, Shita, obviously, is not going to help. Those are different conditions. So the Gemara, no. Mao de what would you say that since he's Mekayim the get with um, one of these conditions, so therefore it'd be like one tonight because Kolik Yumi tonight. Any witness that testifies to say that there is a condition in this get, I would say mitzvah, and I would say that maybe it's going to combine because they're both saying the same thing. 
They're both saying that there's a tenai over here. Kamash Malon, that's what saying that no, even though they're both saying he, that she could do any one of its tenai, but it has to be a tenai fulfilled, it's not going to work because it's a different tenai, and therefore it has to be a both from a one of the tenai. You cannot combine uh, the different tenai, have one witness from this and one witness from that one to say, to require her to fulfill the tenai. Now, continuing on the halakha, the next mission with tonight, a little bit more of a complex case because of just understanding the case. The Gemara says like this The husband says to his wife, Here is a gift. If this you get, if I don't come within 30 days. And very importantly, it sounds parenthetical, but very important. Because you're going from Judea to the Galilee. Okay. Says the mission like this If let's say he gets to Antifras and he comes back right away. Bottle Tanoi, his condition is nullified. In other words, this get is not kosher anymore to divorce with. Even if he subsequently goes back to the Galilee and he stays there for 30 days, it's not going to be a get. Now, Rashi importantly tells us the Gemara assumes at this point that Antifras is the beginning of the Galilee. Now, his first condition was that if he goes to the Galilee and He's not there for a period of 30 days. And he was, he's going to be mevatl to get because he came back within 30 days. But if, let's say, he didn't make it to Antifras and he came back, and then uh, a few days later, he goes back to the Galilee and he stays there a period of 30 days, she would be divorced because the period of 30 days is only established when he goes to the Galilee. And he didn't go up until now and be delayed. Now he goes and he's delayed for a period of 30 days. Okay. Then it will be a get. That's how it sounds like from the Mishnah at this point. Now, says the Mishnah, another case. Similar. There is a gita, if this is your get, if I don't come back within 30 days. He was going from the Galilee to Judea, meaning he was going the other way. First case, going from Yehuda to Galil. He's going from Galil to Yehuda. He gets to the, the village of Usnoi. Because he comes right back. Okay? Batl Tnoi. He's Mavatl is Tnoi. Meaning the Gemara assumes that Kfar Usnoi is in the beginning of Judea, which is where the guy said he's going to, when you're going from the Galil to Yehuda. So he went to Yehuda, and he came back within 30 days. So you don't have any more, no more Tnoi, no more Get, to fulfill anything more. He said, it's only going to be get if I don't come back within 30 days when I get to my destination. He got there and he came right back. That's it. No more get. Continues the Mishnah, another similar case. Here's a get there. This is your get. If I don't come back within 30 days. Now, this guy was going, he was going overseas. He made it to Akko and he came right back. So again, the Gemara assumes that Akko is, is in the Medina Sayam. Okay, so you went, you came right back. Okay, bottled Noi. Nullified his condition. The whole tonight for the get was going to be if he stays there 30 days, does he come back? It came right back. Another case says the Mishnah. Here's a Gidr, this is your get. Meaning, if I'm going to delay 30 days um, from passing by your face, Right away, it's going to be a get. So what happens if he's coming and going, coming and going? So since he wasn't secluded with her, I raise a get, it's going to be a get. But the Gemara is going to ask, what do you mean? But um, he wasn't away for 30 days because he was he kept her coming back. So, so who cares if he wasn't secluded with her? Why is that going to be a get? So the Gemara is going to ask that question. But the Gemara first asked to explain the case of the Mishnah. Again, it's all with the assumption that we were explaining the mission the way we said from Rashi. Remember, is that to say that Antifras begalil habakaima? Is that really true that Antifras is in the Galilee? Again, remember, because how do we explain the case? So the guy said, this is your get if I don't come back within 30 days. And where was he going? He was going from Judea to the Galilee. We said, if he gets to Antifras, he comes right back. Oh, what did Mavat Oh, he can't use this get anymore. Because the, 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 the tonight is not being fulfilled. Why not? Because, look, he went to the Galilee, he went to Antifras, and he came right back. He didn't delay 30 days. Says the Gemara, so that means, because again, if he never made it to the Galilee, so he weren't the Vatal the Tanai, 
You didn't go now, but if you'll ever go to the Galilee and you'll be there 30 days, then it will be again. Sounds like, no, you made it to the Galilee and you came back. Problem is, but I mean, this seems to be contradicted. Says the Bais Antifras is be Yehuda, not in the Galilee. And the Kfar Sinai is also difficult in the other case of the Mishnah, is be Galil, because as Rashi explains, these two places are near each other on the border. This one's in the beginning of Judea. This is in the beginning of the Galilee. So therefore, if someone was going from Yehuda to Galil, and he comes to Antifras, and he comes right back, that should not be Mavatl the Tanai. He never got to the Galilee. So if he goes and he delays, it, it should be a get. So therefore, he mentions by this condition that he's going from Yehuda to Galil, that you should not count the 30 days only from the day he gets to the Galilee. So too, if he was going from the Galilee to Yehuda, and he gets to Kfar Sinai and he comes back, that should not be Mavatl the Tanai, because he never made it to Yehuda. So that's the question, but the Gemara continues quoting the Brisa, Ben Tayim. Let's say someone was going from Yehuda to the Galilee, and he's actually somewhere in the middle. <laughs> that is, he passed on Tifras, but he never came to Kfar or Sinai. And he comes back within 30 days. And later on, he goes back to the Galilee, literally. And he delays over there. Then says the Brisa, Matil Noisa Lachomer. Then we're actually going to go stringently, and we're going to say that Migudashas, on the one that will consider her divorced, meaning like as if the Tznai was fulfilled, and she'll be possible for But as we continue to McBay's, at the same time, the end of Migudashas, we're going to say she's not divorced, that she won't be able to get remarried with this get. Because Rashi explains, we're not sure. If it was Batal, the Tanai, the first time he went, why? So it's interesting. Maybe like by the North and South Koreas, there's like this like buffer zone. Like Since he passed on Tifras, which is maybe considered Galilee, and therefore is Mavatal, the Tanai, because he came back within 30 days. Or maybe on Tifras is Yehuda. Meaning, although he said that Antifras is in Yehuda, but it sounds like that when you cross over Antifras, even though you didn't get yet the Kfaras, now we're not sure um, is that area Yehuda or the Galilee. So if it's the Galilee, it was Mavatl Tanai. If it was Yehuda, it was not Mavatl Tanai. And if it was not Mavatl Tanai, so maybe it was fulfilled the second time going, and therefore it would be a get. Okay. So that's just regarding that case. But the main question the Gemara wants is that you see the opposite of what we thought in our, in the, our interpretation of the Mishnah. We see that Antifras is Yehuda and not the Galilee. So if it's not the Galilee, so what do you tell me in the Mishnah as Mavatl is now, if he goes there and he comes right back, but he never made it to the Galilee. So it should still be able to be a get. So my Abaya says that the Mishnah also holds Antifras as Yehuda. So, then, so what are you talking about? So how do we understand the law of the Mishnah? So this is where it gets a little bit complex, says the Gemara, because, for example, it's talking about where Trey Tanoi Kamala. He said to her two conditions. What's the two conditions? So like this. Condition number one was, If I make it to the Galilee, It wasn't one statement, it was two statements. If I make it to the Galilee, it should be a get right away, even if I don't delay. If I delay on the road 30 days and I don't come back, no matter where I went, Lahavagita should also be a get. Even if I never made it to the Galilee. Ooh, okay. So that's why the Mishnah was saying, If he goes to Antifras, he comes back right away. It was Mavatal the Tanai, and there's no more get to fulfill because both Tanayim weren't fulfilled. Number one, the Loyal Galil Mata. You're right, he never made it to the Galilee. He only made it to Antiphras, which is still part of Judea. And number two, he didn't delay for 30 days because he came back right away. Therefore, therefore it's going to nullify the condition. And even if he fulfills it at a later point in time, he didn't stipulate only on the first journey. Again, not like the way we assumed, as uh, evident from the way Rashi is explaining. And moreover, when he mentioned the Galilee, he didn't mention it regarding the counting of 30 days onward. Rather, there should be a get right when he gets over there. 
and he didn't he didn't get over there, and he also didn't delay for thirty days. So the Mishnah understanding is this is going to be your get number one. If I don't come back within thirty days, bechlal from the day that I leave from over here, and number two, he was going from Yehuda to the Galilee, and he was making to get dependent. If he also gets there to the Galilee, which would happen right away. Now, look at the Mishnah was another case. He says, "Hariz Gitech, this is your get." If I don't get from here to there on 30 days, meaning and obviously that the case of Kvar Sanoi would also be the same interpretation like we said, the same thing. We actually answered it without mentioning it. But that's the same type of a case that we're saying. But the Gemara says, if someone says, this you get my Vahula, uh, etc., and he's going from Medina to Yam to Akoi, he's going from overseas to Akoi. So the Gemara said the same type of thing, said the Mishnah, was that okay? So it's not it's not going to be uh, it's mavatlas tonight if he gets to Akka. The Gemara says maybe the Akka b'minin is hayam kaima. Is that to say that Akka was overseas? Like Rashi explains, the Gemara is going with the assumption of the havamina that we had, not with Abayis Teretz. Abayis Teretz, right, answers the cases of going from Yehuda to Galilee and going from Galilee to Yehuda and going from Eretz Somadina Sayam. You're right. To the contrary, Akka would make sense now the way the Gemara is asking. But the Gemara is going without Abayis answer, assuming that. It's actually um, only going to be uh, tonight if he makes it over there. But so is that really? It's Akka from overseas? And if you're saying, oh, he got to, he came back within 30 days, there was him about tonight? But Vam Rabbi Sabra Sabra says, when the rabbis would take leave from each other, meaning the people from overseas that came to Eretz Yisrael to learn Torah, when they were going back to their homes, their friends from Eretz Yisrael would, would escort them, but Akka have a miftiri. They would take leave in Akka, they would go till Akka, and from there they would take leave from them. Why? From the Asr, because it's forbidden for the people of Eretz Yisrael, lots of Eretz L'chutz L'aretz, to go out from Eretz Yisrael to Chutz So you see that Akoi is Eretz Yisrael. So how do we understand that why is it that if he goes and he comes back right away, that okay, it activated the Tanai, because he got to Chut Medin Zayam, but he came back right away, didn't delay 30 days, but Akoi is not Chutz L'aretz. So Mabai says, the same answer we said before. There's actually two conditions mentioned over here. If I come to overseas, it's going to be get right away. If I delay 30 days, I don't come back. Now, so that's what the Mishra was saying. If he gets to and he comes back, number one, he never came to overseas. And number two, he didn't delay 30 days, so bottle five, the person the bottle. That's night. Another case the Mishnah said was, this is your get, as long as I... Uh, I, I, I take leave from you. I don't see you for 30 days. So then it will be a get. So what did the Mishnah say? If he was coming and going, coming and going, so even if he went and returned several times within 30 days, so the get is going to be affected because they were not secluded. So the Gemara says, the question, the obvious question that we mentioned from Rashi, but the other, but he wasn't away 30 consecutive days. So why is it going to be a get? Amabundi says, no, it's a euphemism. My panacha, what did he say that I'm not going to see your face for 30 days? So my tashmish, marital intimacy, 30 days consecutive without tashmish. That's what the Mishnah said. Oh, since he wasn't secluded with her, okay, obviously he didn't have tashmish. So therefore it's going to be a get. Now the micro la panacha, why is he saying your face? It's, a, it's an appropriate refined terminology. It's the lower face. And azaretman, uh, a shine illusion, but it, it just means Tashmish, and therefore it's going to be a get. That's one shot. Over to Bichon he says different shot. No, Lohan Panecha Mamash means literally your face. So he said, well, how's it a get? He saw her face. He kept on bumping up in the, in the, in the Koyal food store. Says, says, the, says the Gemara, no, me, Katani, did we learn how they do Megadashes? It didn't say she can be divorced. We didn't say that after 30 days you can be divorced. How is a get, Katani? All we said, that it's a get, meaning that the get did not become puzzle. The loy have a get yashon. It's just not an old get, which is a problem that if you wrote a get and it wasn't activated yet, we're concerned that maybe they were secluded. No, they were not secluded. And therefore, lachim, molot, los and yemi, when the condition is fulfilled and he is away for 30 days. You're right, he wasn't away for 30 days yet. When will be away for 30 days? Have a get, what do you get? So a very interesting deek. It didn't say, I read the it says, I read the get. Yeah, but the problem is, how's it going to be a get? We said that he, if he fulfills the tonight, he's mavatl the get. Yeah, 
Galilee. No, but right. That would be if he never got to the Galilee. But we understood. He says, if I get to the Galilee and I wait 30 days. I understand, but it, it shouldn't even be a get because he was mavat of the get. By doing, by going there and not delaying, he was like, he was uprooting the ability. That's how the Gemara understands it, the way Rashi explains it, is that it, now it can't be a get even anymore because the whole thing was a tanai. And Rashi says that um, uh, when he, in Divya Maschal, the Ima Shtehina, that he, he, he alludes to that thing also, that you don't get another opportunity um, to go ahead and do this. But yeah, a good question. But it sounds like that it's that case uprooting it. Here, we're saying, no, because it, 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 he, didn't, he, he didn't nullify it. Um, he just said, if I, if, I, if, you don't, if I don't see you for 30 days, and, 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 and therefore he didn't see her for 30 days. Yeah, but uh, definitely a good question. Um, the problem is, oh, so what's the Gemara saying? So the reason why it's a get is because he wasn't secluded with her for third, at any point. So when it's going to be, it's going to be. So the Gemara says, the Gemara says, the Gemara says, because the Gemara says, the Gemara says, this is your get. As long as I don't see you for a period of 30 days, he's coming, going, coming, and going. So the Bryce says, since he wasn't so clear with her, there is a get, and it adds on the words that say the interpretation of Yechanan. And for old get, meaning, what's an old get? An old get is that whenever they're secluded between the writing and the giving of the get, the Rabbanah said it's going to be possible because what happens is if they're going to have Bia, they're going to say that the get was before the son. But really, the get was given later. But the date is earlier, and the child's going to be born, where we see that it was after the date. So in this case, Eichlesh is not concerned for that. Because it wasn't secluded with her. So again, so you see like exactly Rabbi Yechelen's interpretation. The Gemara has a question. But Valeichlesh, we should be concerned that Shema, maybe when he came to her, meaning he was coming and going, he was in town. Maybe pious, maybe there was a fight. But he, he appeased her, and maybe he was secluded with her. In other words, so as Rashi explains the Gemara's question, maybe at a later point in time, the husband will come and contest and says, no, I appeased her. And therefore, it, won't, it wasn't a kosher get, because I was secluded with her. And if that's the case, it's mevatel to get. So why are we not concerned that maybe he'll say there is mevatel to get? He says, Hoche Amar, Abba, Mari, Mishmei, Derav, this is what my father says in the name of Rav. That it's talking about a specific case. It's talking about Ba'aymer, where he says at the time of the condition, I'm giving it on the condition when I'm giving her, that she should be nemenes, like she should believe on me like a hundred witnesses. As long as she says, loy mishleibas, if she says, I didn't come and be secluded and appeased her, she's believed. And he'll be embarrassed to make such a claim. And she's believed. So therefore, we're not having such a concern that it was Mephaisa, and therefore it's not a get yashin, and therefore it will be a kosher get. You're right, it won't be divorced. But when the 30 days will be that he doesn't see her, then it will be a divorce. Now, Ikhidim Asin that those who learn this teaching of Rav actually are Masnitan, on the coming Mishnah. The next Mishnah that we're going to say in a few lines, Mishnah says, let's say the husband says, this you get me Aksha from now. I don't come back within 12 months. And he dies within 12 months. Says the Mishnah, I raise a get. It's going to be a get. The question is, Why? We have to be concerned that maybe he was Mephias, meaning maybe he came and he was secluded with her. So then it's a get yashan. So then we say it's possible. So why do we say that if he died within 12 months, it's going to be kosher, but maybe he came? It's where he says, she's believed on me, to say that I didn't come, and that's going to be the Allah of the next Mishnah. So the Gemara just explains, the one who explains on the next Mishnah, or the more so on the Bryce, because since in the case of the, uh, 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 where, where he doesn't come, we're concerned that maybe his Mephias are, meaning in the next Mishnah, unless if he stipulated in the beginning that she's believed on me, so for sure on the Bryce, uh, where he was coming and going, for sure we'd be concerned. Meaning the, the teaching of Rab would be necessary to say on the Brisa if you're saying it on the Mishnah. Because even the Mishnah where we never saw him for 12 months, it's still because maybe he came with Matthias, we have to say the condition of Rav to show on the Brisa. But Amman the Masala Brisa, one says on the Brisa, Abu Lama Slim, but the case of the Mishnah where he dies within 12 months, we didn't see him come to town from when he left, we're not concerned maybe it's Matthias. And even if he had not originally believed her for this, it would be a get, 
because Holoyasi didn't come. The only in the brace where we saw him coming and going is where you would need the stipulation of Rav that he said to Harb when he gave it to her that, yeah, she'll be believed to tell that I did not come bimafayas. Now, look the next mission, which we just referenced. It says the mission again, continuing on these halachas of conditions. The final Mishnah of this parak, Hariza Gitach. Let's say he says to her, yeah, This is your get. If I don't come back within 12 months. Who makes Betuchid Bishchid? She died within 12 months. Ain't a get. It's not going to be a get. Why? Because he didn't say Me'achshav. He didn't say from now. Sounds like only after the 12 months are up. If he doesn't come back, it should be a get. Now, guess what? He died within that time, and therefore it's not going to be a get. Because it's going to be a get. La'achamisa. So therefore, she has to go through Yibam. Let's say, however, he says, Reiz, Zegitach, Me'achshav, as he get from now, Im le'bos b'chayim, Reiz, Be'chayim, 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 so what happens if Kasvu get betechid bishchidus? They wrote to get within twelve months, but Benoslach only gave it after twelve months. It says the Mishnah in a guess not going to make a get. Because guess what? He said, write it and give it if I'm not back within twelve months. They wrote it within the twelve months. That's not valid. Now let's say he said Kisvu v'tznu get leishti. It's very interesting, but the, just notice the difference of the order. The first way he said, if I'm not back within twelve months. Right, and give the get to my wife. Here he says like this. He says, Kisvu utnu get leishti. Write and give a get to my wife. Im loy basi mikan yad If I don't come back within 12 months. So what happens in this case? If kasvu betochid bishchash, they wrote it within 12 months. Same as the first case. But the wording here, what he told them was different. And then benas lachid bishchash, he gave it after 12 months. So the Tanakhama says, yeah, same like the first case. And I guess not going to be careful because he only wanted it to be written after 12 months. Rabbi Yisim, he says, no, Kizek get is going to be a get because, as we'll explain the Gemara, he, 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 the wording there is important because the Kisvu was said all the way in the beginning. Now, says the Mishnah, another case. Let's say, um, Kosvu, they wrote it. They wrote after 12 months. They gave it after 12 months. I mean, the same case, just explaining a different what happened. But, but they gave it, and they gave it after 12 months. Umesin, he dies, so it depends. In my get, couldn't let me say if they gave the get before the death. Obviously, how is the gets can be a get? But the misi couldn't let get. But if they, he died before they gave the get, and the get's not gonna be a get because again, you can't give a get la chamisa. They main your dua. Let's say you don't know they gave her the get, and then they hear that he died. They don't know exactly which one happened first. This is what they said. Migration, migration. She can consider divorce, but not divorce. Meaning stringently, we're gonna have to treat as divorce, and stringently, we have to treat as not divorce because we don't know if the get got there before he died. Now the gemara first goes back to the ratio. We learn the Brisa, Rabbi Seinu Hitiru Lenase. Meaning, we had said in the Reisha of our Mishnah, we said that if, let's say, he says, This is your get, if I don't come back within 12 months, he dies within 12 months, it's not going to be a get. But our, our, our teachers permitted her to get remarried, meaning, even though he, he didn't say Me'achshav, it's going to be like he said Me'achshav, which is the next case in the Mishnah. Because Mestam is saying it from right now. So think about who's Man Rabbi Seinu, who's Rabbi Seinu that said that even if he didn't say from now, it's going to be like from now. I'm going to read the Mishmul. He says, Beidino de Shogu Mishcha. It's the court that permitted the oil of the Abdi Abdi Zara, those who worship idolatry, which rebuked in the Sia, who was in the days of Amairam. He was a grandson of Rabbeinu Arkadish. As the Gemara says, Nabi Zara of Lamazayim and Aleph. Kresavri la Krebiesi. His court held a Krebiesi in Baba Bastav Koflam and Baba Bastav. But someone writes his estate to his son. For after he dies, so he has to write from today, and Achamisa says the Tan Kama. He says, no, he doesn't have to write Mahayim. Because the Amai says, the date proves that why you're writing a date, because you want to know that from today you're already giving the property of the, 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 the actual property itself that the other brother should not inherit with him. It's just that the produce will go after he does, because he wants to be able to have the utility while he's still alive. Oh, wow, so you wrote a date? That's like Me'achshav. Oh, that's going to work. If you say from now after 12 months and he dies within 12 months, it's going to be a valid get. Now, he was the son of Rabbi Gamliel, who was the son of Rabbi, meaning the son of Rabbi Noah Kaddish. 
he ruled that it should be permitted, as we just said, based on the Shita of Rabbi Yaisi. But, all those who are his supporters didn't agree to him, which on the side of the Gemara, in the Gilean, they say it means that his people of his own base medrash. Some say, Kol Shaitai, which Rashi says, Kol Shaitai, all his time, meaning as long as he lived. On the side of the Gemara, from, Ar- from the Aruch, they bring that all the Chacham that were found there at that time didn't agree to him. Now, Amalei, Rebbe Lazla, who's Saba? Rebbe Lazla said to that elder, Ki Shaditua, when you permitted this case, L'alta Shaditua, is she permitted right away when they hear that he died within the 12 months, even before the 12 months are up? Did you only permit her after the 12 months? So the Mark explains what the question is. Do you say that right away she's permitted? Guess what? He's, not, he's definitely not going to be coming anymore. He's dead. So you already fulfilled the condition because you told me that according to Rabbi Huda Nesiyah, who passed like Rabbi Yisi. That when you write a date, it's like you say, Me'achshav, so she can be divorced from the moment he gave it to her. So although only six months in, and he said if he's not back within 12 months, it should be a get. But guess what? He's not coming back. So she's been permitted even right now? Like, Dima, maybe no. She, you only permit her after 12 months. Because do I come late tonight? Then it's, the condition is fulfilled. 12 months are up. Up until it's fulfilled, even though he's dead, it's not going to be a valid get. The Gemara wonders, why did he ask the question specifically on the halacha of Rabbi Yehuda Nesiyah, of Rabbi Seinu Hitiru Lenaseh? Why didn't Rabbi Loz ask the question also on Masnit, on the halacha of our Mishnah? What's the next case of our Mishnah? Me'achshav, which is the same thing as Rabbi Yehuda Nesiyah, without saying Me'achshav. Me'achshav, I'm like, Basim, I'm like, from now, if I don't come back within 12 months, Umeis, but I'm like, and he dies within 12 months, where is it going to be get? The question should be asked there too. La alter have a have a? Is it a get right away because the Allah is not coming? Maybe after 12 months, do I come tonight? Because he fulfilled his condition, which is according to everyone. So why are you asking the question on the machlaikis of when you don't see Ma'akshab? She asks on the case that's universal. Right, he could ask the question on the Mishnah too. The reason why that um, he asked that question from that elder, according to the Rabbi Seinu, was very simply, because that elder was there at that story when they permitted with accounting of the permitting it, and he was coming to respond from the tradition that he heard to know how was it that they permitted. But you're right, if he would just ask from a regular person, or just in general, you're right, you could have asked the same question on the halacha of our Mishnah also. Finish to the end of the parak. So the uh, the 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 Gemara continues. Um, yeah, let's go a little bit further. Um, Abaya Abaya says um, he's qualifying the machlek of his mission in the Braisa, um, where he said that if I don't come back, so Um Abaya Abaya says how come everyone agrees? Amar, where he says, let's say he says to his wife at night time, he says this is your get. When the sun comes out of its sheath, out of its, out of its covering. So as we continue, so when it comes out, Kamala is what he was saying. It's going to be a get after death. Because he said, only when the sun comes out. And he died before that. So by the Mishnah also, Rashi explains that when he says, this is your get, if I don't come back um, after 12 months, he says, it's not going to be a get for the same reason, because he's, he died. And you cannot rely on the date of the document to prove anything, because he explicitly said, when I don't come, it should be a get. But he didn't say, me'achshav. Now, let's say he said, however, a different wording. He says, I'm a tzicha on the condition that the sun comes out of the, uh, uh, out of the sheath tomorrow morning. Then me'achshav come along. Then he was saying from right now. Why? Why is he saying from right now? Because Amr Abu Nimrod says, Kulayim Amanaz, what it says on the condition, come me'achshav, then he's saying from right now. So again, it's, it's not based on the principle of Rabbi Yaisi, which that's the first case is saying that no. He says, when it comes out. When it comes out? Okay. So then, and Rashi actually was saying that even Rabbi Yaisi would seemingly agree to that. 
because you said when it comes out. So you're saying the date's not going to do anything. And you didn't say me'achshav, so it's not going to work. He said Hamanas, yeah, so even though he died beforehand, the condition was fulfilled, and therefore it was me'achshav. Says the Gemara, so this is Abaye qualifying. It says everyone agrees to these two cases. If the sun comes out, which the equivalent of the case of our Mishnah would be im loibasi. That was the words of our Mishnah. So the very important diik that Abai is saying. If you're saying likisha teitze, if you're saying um, likisha loy avoy, everyone agrees. You're saying it should only take place then. And if you do the other way around, so it's kaimim achshav amanas, yeah, for sure it's going to work. The whole and we had was only im teitze. So that's what we said previously on the fine Bezim and Aleph. Regarding imati, we said the word im has two understandings. Shtei l'shein is mashma. It can mean me'achshav, and it can mean when it happens. When he says mehayim is from right now, um, if he didn't say mehayim, it's when it's going to happen. Oh, so that's the machlek is mar, the time the b'raisa, some of the hell of the yisi, the that he says, man, the shashta The date proves, therefore that's like the case from today if I die, which is me'achshav mati, like from now if I die. Mara, the town of the Mishnah, Loi Savak Rabisi, didn't hold Rabisi. So if you didn't say Me'achshab, you didn't say Me'ayoim, okay, then Rabbi Ki Imati Greda. Then it's just like saying, if I die, without saying Me'ayoim. Oh, now we said enough Ayn Bezim and Aleph. If you say Imati without Me'ayoim, that's La Achamisa. It's going to be like Kisha Amis, like when I die. Oh, so therefore that's the same thing like Likisha like, like, Amis, when I don't come, which is going to be after 12 months, that's already too late, that's already. Where the person's dead, and therefore says Abayah, that was the machlek, specifically the wording im, that's the machlek is. Im le'ava, im mati. But if you say, likisha te'ze, likisha ava, everyone agrees, it's not going to work. And if you say amanas, according to everyone, it will work. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs>